The Seven Old Souls of the Zodiac. I'm Lamar Townsend. Most of you know, I'm a natural intuitive, clairvoyant, clairaudient, empathic, psychic tarot reader, and I would love to do a personal, private, confidential psychic tarot reading for you or a birth chart reading. Please contact me at lamartownsendtarot.com or email me at lamar.townsend at gmail.com. If you have any questions, please check out the FAQ section and the personal ethics section on my website, lamartownsendtarot.com. Also, please subscribe to the, my YouTube channel. Hit the bell next to the subscribe button, which is the notification button, so that you get a notification whenever I upload a new video. Also, please follow me on Instagram at Lamar Townsend and like me on Facebook, facebook.com slash Lamar Townsend official. The links will be down below in the description box. All right. So with that being said, the seven old souls of the Zodiac sign. Now, please, as I clearly had to put a disclaimer in these videos because some people getting their feelings for some reason. I'm not sure why, but anyways, um, this is for pure entertainment. Um, this is just my opinion, and this is just a generalization, okay? So, with that being said, thank you for listening and watching. I appreciate you. I'm sending you love and light, all right? And with that being said, let's get into the seven old souls of the Zodiac, in my opinion. The seven old souls of the Zodiac signs are Aquarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Capricorn, Leo, and Sagittarius, okay? So, with that being said, Aquarius is ruled by Saturn and Uranus. Saturn tends to kind of, um, you know, if people aren't old souls, you know, Saturn molds people into old souls over time. Um, you know, for the most part, you know, people with Saturn influence come out of the womb, um, having an old soul, having, um, you know, memories, having lessons, wisdom from previous lifetimes, whether you believe in that or not, or they just come into the world knowing certain things, knowing themselves, being sure of themselves, you know what I'm saying? People with Saturn energy tend to also be loners, you know, to like to spend time alone reflecting, you know, and, and that tends to be a signal of an old soul, you know, is to those that like to self-reflect and think a lot. And Aquarius like to think a lot. They also like to talk and impart wisdom on people, you know. Aquarius is that type of person who is always moving forward, is um, not only teaching lessons in what they say, but also how they move, what they do, how they go about life. So, Aquarius definitely can be old souls um, and have a lot of wise wisdom in them, right? Cancer. Cancers can definitely be old souls. They are ruled by the moon, and the moon is, uh, well, it's, the moon's pretty old itself, right? The moon um, has an integral part in our life, you know, and it's had an integral part in our life for thousands, millions, who, who knows how many years, you know, the moon has you know, had an influence on our life, but the moon, um, rules our emotions, it rules the, the tides, it rules the water, and the water, uh, there's a lot of, uh, magical, uh, benefits to water, you know, water, um, has sustained many civiliza civilizations for years and years, right, so, it's safe to say that water is pretty wise, you know, and water also is constantly reused, you know what I'm saying, over and over, it's like a cycle, so, in, in that cycle of life, you know, cancers tend to be wise type of people. Um, they are uh, excellent at managing their emotions. Um, well, sometimes they're excellent at managing their emotions, but they're excellent at getting in touch with their emotions and knowing their emotions and knowing the other emotions of other people in that. So, cancers tend to be wise, wise people in terms of emotions, in terms of knowing themselves. Um, they uh, are wise people in the sense of they, they know themselves, they know how to protect themselves, they know how to protect the ones that they love. Um, they know that the home is the safe space, the home is the, you know, the safe space, you know what I'm saying? And that um, in itself is wise, you know. Cancers are very, very wise people. Uh, cancers are the crabs, don't sleep on those, those cancers, okay? They have a lot of wisdom. Pisces, I would say, is the most wise zodiac in the, in the entire zodiac. Pisces is ruled by Neptune. Neptune rules spirituality. Um, Pisces is also ruled by Jupiter. R Jupiter rules the abstract mind, uh, higher learning, morality, religion, and things of those nature. So Pisces is a naturally very wise type of person in the sense that they come out of the womb kind of wise. They come out of the womb knowing th certain things that maybe takes certain other people, certain other signs, years decades to learn, you know what I'm saying, um, Pisces, you know, know certain lessons, certain, you know, uh, things w of what to do and not to do on an instinct, you know, it's an instinct for Pisces, um, and that's another, uh, 
indication of someone who's, who's wise, who's an old soul, is they're very instinctual. Um, a lot of the, the wise things they say, the wise things they do, it's instinctual. They don't have to think about it. It's just how they, how, what they do. It's just who they are. And that's what makes Pisces a kind of wise soul is because they are just so spiritual. They're so connected on a deep level <clears throat> that I think a lot of times they don't even realize how wise they are, you know, very wise people. Um, almost like a sage, so to speak. Scorpio, uh, did you notice all the water signs are on this list, by the way? Scorpio is ruled by Pluto, um, which is, you know, similar to Neptune in uh, certain ways, you know, in the, in the sense that, you know, it's a, it's an intuitive planet. It's a, it's a, it's a spiritual planet. Uh, it's the, Pluto rules the occult. Pluto rules tarot, you know, occult is a part, I mean, tarot is a part of the occult, you know what I'm saying? So, I'm not, I don't not, I don't really like the word occult, but it is what it is. Um, Pluto also rules the metaphysical and things of that nature, right? Um, so this is what makes, this is what makes Scorpio such a wise zodiac sign is that, you know, it's, you know, has that Pluto influence. It's also ruled by Mars. So they're wise, you know, they have good intuition and they act on it. You know what I'm saying? They are... You know, Scorpios are excellent at kind of de-diffusing situations, you know, because they can see the truth of the matter. They can see the heart of the matter. Um, and, and that's that's wise, you know, being able to diffuse a situation, being able to see the truth of a situation, the truth of someone. That, that's a wise trait. That's a, that's a trait of an old soul, you know, someone who is wise, someone who's a sage, someone who is um, able to look at a perspective from a higher, able to look at a situation from a higher perspective, I mean, right? Capricorn is ruled by Saturn, and we kind of talked about Saturn, you know, what that's all about with Aquarius. Saturn um, kind of molds people into old souls. Saturn molds people into wise people, um, you know, and Saturn's going to make sure you learn your lesson one way or another, okay? And, you know, old souls, wise people are all about lessons, you know, they're all about imparting lessons, teaching lessons, but they, you know, you don't get wise just by, you know, going through life with without, you know, having to learn some lessons of your own. And I think Capricorn, more than anyone knows that. Now, Capricorns tend to come into, you know, the planet, the, you know, the earth that we're on, um, Capricorns tend to come into the world with a an old soul. Capricorns are often said to kind of be old men and women at, at when they're young, and then they kind of morph into a more youthful kind of person as they age. Um, and that couldn't be any further from the truth, honey, because Capricorns, um, as children, are, you know, they're the very serious child. They're the child who is the most responsible one, the most mature one for the most part, right? Um, and that's a trait of an old soul. That's a trait of an, uh, a wise one, a wise being, right? A wise child, a wise person, right? So this is what makes Capricorn an old soul. Capricorns also tend to be loners um, sometimes, all right? They love people. They love people. They love interacting with people. They're people people, but they also um, like solitude, and to recharge themselves and to think, you know, and introspect. So those things are very important for a Capricorn. Um, traits of a wise person. All right. Leo is ruled by the sun. And the sun is a very wise uh, star in the sky. The sun has many uh, benefits. It has many jobs uh, on earth. You know, I mean, it doesn't only light up our, our day, but it also helps plants grow. It helps uh, us, you know, not have vitamin D efficiency deficiency like you know it has so many benefits but the sun is also connected to our life purpose our life path um our higher self and of course our higher self um tends to be you know an old soul in, all on its own right um our higher self tends to um be able to look at uh, situations from a higher perspective right um that maybe we down here on earth um, are not able to, you know, in human form, are not able to comprehend fully, right? But Leos um, naturally have that gift of being able to see the higher self of other people, being able to see the strengths of other people, being able to uplift other people and themselves. And, you know, Leos are often, I often say this about you guys, you guys are like the sunshine, the light to people's darkness, you know, a lot of times. They are the ones 
who, you know, even when someone's, you know, in a difficult situation or even when they're in a difficult situation, they can always see the silver lining. They can always see the good thing, you know, um, you know, which makes people, these people very, very wise. These people are very, um, charismatic. These people are very also down to earth. And that's a trait of a wise person, you know, someone who's down to earth. Last but not least, we have Sagittarius. Sagittarius is ruled by Jupiter, and Jupiter is the planet of expansion. Jupiter is the planet of higher learning, morality, education, higher education. Um, also rules the abstract mind and the abstract thoughts. So Sagittarius tend to be naturally very intelligent people. Sagittarius tend to be people who love to expand their mind, their thought, their thought process. They love to have an open mind and open heart, you know, for the most part to all situations in life. Um, and that's a lot of times how they learn. Um, you know, Sagittarius know that, you know, life is all about enjoying yourself, having fun, learning, expanding, expanding your consciousness, expanding, um, just expanding your life overall, you know what I'm saying? And, Sagittarius also tend to be people who, much like Leo, know that there's always a brighter, you know, situation ahead. Ahead, they know that there's always uh, good to come, even in the midst of uh, obstacles, even in the midst of dealing, you know, with difficult situations. Sagittarius have that great uh, mindset of optimism, and that's another trait of a wise person, is knowing that, you know, your current situation is not necessarily your um end result the end result that you'll be in you know your current situation is kind of like a uh propeller it's a it's a it's a stepping stone for you to move to your next situation and that's kind of how sad just go about life and that's a very wise person you know um because you attract what you think so why not think positive like a sag all right, thank you guys so much for listening and watching i appreciate you i hope this video got, gave you some clarity and insight and i hope it made you better understand yourself or other people around you okay and of course this does not mean that libra gemini virgo or taurus or aries are not old souls they can definitely be old souls but i think these signs tend these seven signs tend to show signs of being a little bit more of an old soul i don't know <laughs> you know like i don't know how else to say it um so i hope no one got offended in this video but um you know you can't please everyone so i'm sending you love and light either way and wishing you nothing but the best love health and lots of success please contact me for your own personal reading at lamartownsandtarot.com or email me at lamar.townsend at gmail.com for your own personal private tarot reading or birth chart reading okay a birth chart reading is a you know a reading of the placements uh of the planets in the sky at the time you were born we are not just our sun sign so when someone asks you what is your zodiac sign what they're really asking whether they know it or not is what is your sun sign so maybe your next response to that is it should be you know hmm, are you asking for my sun sign my moon sign my rising sign my mercury my mars which one is it and why not actually have some facts to back that up and get a birth chart reading from me, okay? At LamarTownsandTarot.com. With that being said, I love you guys. You know, guys, you guys know I love messing with you and just being so goofy, okay? So please email me at LamarTownsend. Lamar.Townsend at gmail.com. Also subscribe. Hit the bell next to the subscribe button so you get a notification whenever I upload a new video. Also, follow me on Instagram at LamarTownsend and like me on Facebook. Facebook.com slash LamarTownsend. Oh, official... I have a message to answer from my cousin, and family is important, so you guys know family over everything. So I'll see you guys later, and adios, au revoir, and if I could say bye in some other language, I would. Toodaloo.